This video is a follow-up to the last tutorial where we have a created definition coloring mesh geometry based on a certain parameter. So now we're going to dive a bit deeper into the use of the gradient tool. Gradient tool can be found under params input gradient. So the new object has a warning because it hasn't been connected with anything. I'm going to delete this copy and focus on the working one. So in this specific example, the gradient is converting Z or height values into RGB uh, color codes. I'm going to grab a panel and name it so that we can compare these two lists that I'm talking about. So the list on the left is Z coordinate and on the right is RGB values. So you could imagine these Z values or T parameters being distributed uh, along the gradient from left to right based on their position uh, within the domain. So from the lowest value to the highest one. And this is how the RGB value from the gradient is being assigned to a specific T parameter. Let's now focus on gradient user interface. If we right click on the capsule, we can choose some default grasshopper presets, but we can also create our own custom gradient. One of the ways to manipulate the gradient is by changing the position of the dot. Each dot here has its own assigned color or RGB value, and the area in between the dots are like fused, uh, fusion of two colors, so interpolation. And as soon as I change the position of, let's say, one of the dots, as, I, as I'm doing here, you can see that I'm changing the proportional representation of these two colors. So in this instance, now we have more pink than the deep red. These sort of adjustments should be taken with caution, especially if we use gradient for analysis. Because if we are changing the percentage of representation, we are skewing the results that are being displayed. If we want to change the color assigned to the color grip or this dot, then we need to double click on it. A dialog box opens up and here I can change the assigned color. And I also can change the position of this dot within the gradient. Let's click cancel. I'm going to show you another way. Let's right click on the gradient capsule and a similar dialog box opens up here. However, I need to specify which uh, dot I want to work with first. And you can see here on the left upper corner, we also have a color palette and by clicking it, we can add additional color grips. Let's click cancel. We have the same setting over here with a palette on the corner. And if I click on it, I'm adding additional color grip to my gradient. I'm going to change the color of this one. And I'm also going to adjust the position of these three colors so that it's more equal. Okay, let's click on the corner palette again to add another point and this one this color I don't like, so I'm going to click it, drag and drop out of the component or capsule area to delete it from the gradient. So let's say we would like to save this gradient to our preset. Let's right click on the capsule, choose presets, and at the very end of the dialog box you can see that I have already created it, so I'm going to delete it first. And then I'm going to do it again, right click presets, add custom gradient. So now we have this custom gradient added to our preset library. And just reminding you that we can also change the size of the gradient capsule itself 
to save some space on canvas. Okay, so this is it for the gradient tool in Grasshopper. I will see you in the next tutorial.